Titration is the process of reacting acid and base together. And I do that in a controlled way. So I can take an acid solution and add base. The acid solution will originally have low pH, a high acid concentration. As you add base, that base will react with the acid and lower that acid concentration. Lowering the acid concentration raises the pH. The solution becomes more basic, which makes sense because you're adding a base. Eventually, you'll use up all the acid that's there, and if you continue to add base, then that base will dominate the pH, and you'll have a basic solution. You can plot that in something that's called a titration curve. Here I'm plotting the pH of a solution versus the moles of acid or base that I add. So for instance, if I start with 0.1 molar HCl, that would have a pH of 1, because the H3O plus concentration in 0.1 molar HCl is 10 to the minus 1. This totally dissociates, forms 0.1 or 10 to the minus 1 moles of H3O plus per liter. The pH is minus log of 10 to the minus 1, or 1. So I start with pH 1, I add some base, and as I add moles of base, those react with my moles of acid to form water. And that continues to happen until I use up all the original acid that's there. When I've added one mole of base for every mole of acid in my original solution, I've used up all my acid, and I've used up all the base that I've added. They've all completely reacted together. If it's a strong acid and a strong base reacting together, then the pH at this equivalence point, or this end point, where you've added one mole of base for every mole of acid, will be 7. As you continue beyond that, then the base that you're adding dominates the pH, and the pH rapidly goes to a basic level. You can do the reverse. You can start with a strong base solution, or any base solution, and add an acid solution. Here the pH will start high, because the H3O plus concentration is low. And as you add acid, that pH will drop. When you've added a mole of strong acid for every mole of strong base that you had there, you'll have pure water with some counter ions, say sodium and chloride ions, but a sodium chloride solution has pH 7. The ions sodium and chlorine don't contribute to the pH. We'll talk about that more later. So you have a pH of 7, a neutral salt water solution. As I continue to add acid, the acid will dominate the pH, and you'll go to a low pH solution. So this is a strong acid or strong base titration.